Welcome to the Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Training Course. In this lesson, we're going to cover how to run an accounts receivable aging report in QuickBooks Online. To follow along with me, log into your QuickBooks Online account now or click the link below for a free 30-day trial of QuickBooks Online. You can also click this link to access our full QuickBooks Online course and other helpful resources. Let's get started. The AR Aging Report provides a list of all of the unpaid customer invoices and the number of days they have been outstanding. In order for this report to be useful, you must set invoice terms for all of your customers. If you have not set up invoice terms in the customer profile, then QuickBooks will not be able to provide you with a reminder when your customers' invoices are coming due. In addition, the AR Aging Report will not be able to track the number of days the invoices have been outstanding. There are a couple of ways to set up invoice terms. The simplest option is to set up default invoice terms for all customers. This option works best if the majority of the customers have the same invoice terms, for example, Net30. In the How to Set Up Invoices, Sales Receipts, and Estimates lesson, we walk you through step-by-step -step how to set this up. Click here to watch this video tutorial. If you offer different terms to many of your customers, then click here to watch our How to Set Up Customers tutorial. The AR Aging Report can help you to stay on top of customer invoices that are past due so that you can follow up with your customers about payment. The longer an invoice remains past due, the higher the likelihood that you may not get paid without some type of follow up with your customers. Not getting paid can impact your business's cash flow, so it's important to keep on top of your unpaid invoices using an AR Aging Report. To help demonstrate the components of the AR Aging Report, we will take a look at the AR Aging Report for a fictitious company, Paul's Plumbing. Here you will find the AR Aging Summary Report as of September 30th, 2016 for Paul's Plumbing. Similar to the Balance Sheet Report, this report is as of a specific date. Click here to watch our video tutorial on how to run a Balance Sheet Report. Box number two shows the aging categories. This report is organized by customer, and then by five different aging buckets, starting with current, one to 30 days, 31 to 60 days, 61 to 90 days, and 91 and over. The current column indicates invoices that are not yet due. No action is required for invoices that appear in this column. The one to 30 day column indicates invoices that are one to 30 days past due. Certainly, you don't want to contact a customer who is just a couple of days past due. However, for any invoices that are seven days past due, I would recommend that you send the customer a friendly reminder either by telephone or email. If you send an email, I would include a copy of the invoice as well. The 31 to 60 day column indicates invoices that are 31 to 60 days past due. By this point, you should have sent at least one or more reminders to your customer to pay their outstanding balance. If you still have not received a response, then I suggest that you send them a letter on letterhead that includes verbiage similar to, in order to avoid any additional late fees or penalties, please remit payment immediately. The 61 to 90 day column indicates invoices that are 61 to 90 days overdue. Unless you have spoken with your customer and provided them with additional time to pay their outstanding balance, more than likely you will not be getting paid. At this point, you may want to look into sending this to a collection agency or possibly writing it off as bad debt. The 91 and over day column indicates invoices that are 91 days past due. Similar to what I mentioned for anything in the 61 to 90 day column, you should likely be sending this to a collection agency or writing it off as bad debt expense. At the bottom in box three shows the totals by each group or category. A good rule of thumb is to make sure that the majority of your outstanding receivables is within the first three columns. It should be a rare occasion that you have something creep into the 61 and over categories. If you do, be sure to address it quickly. You can run an AR aging report pretty quickly in QuickBooks. So let's go ahead and navigate there now. On the left hand menu bar, you want to click reports. And then once you do that, make sure you're on the recommended tab and your AR Aging Summary Report will be right here. Go ahead and click on that. From this screen, we have several options, starting with the reporting period. You can select the report period that you would like to run the report for from the drop down here. So you can select any of these periods or you can actually type the date into this field. 
The show non-zero or active only option here allows you to show only active customers, all customers, or customers that have um, a balance other than zero. And same with the columns, you've got those same exact choices here. Days per aging period. So currently our categories have 30 days within each bucket. So 1 to 30, 31 to 60, 61 to 90, etc. So you have the option to change that to whatever you like. Uh, best practice typically is 30 days. And then you also have the option to control the number of periods that you have. And so again, we've got the four periods here. Um, 1 to 30, 31 to 60, 61 to 90, 91 and over, and you can change that to whatever your preference is for your business. After you make your selections, you can run the report and it will appear down here below. You have the option to email the report. So for example, if you need to send it to a CPA or tax professional, you can do that. You have the option to print the report from this icon here. And then you also have the option to download the report into an Excel format or a PDF format. In order to get the invoice details for the summary report, you want to go ahead and click on any of the numbers within the report and notice that there will be a hyperlink. Once you click on that hyperlink, you can see the details of what makes up the customer balance. So for this particular customer, they have one outstanding invoice that makes up the outstanding balance of 629.10. By now you have a good idea of how the AR Aging Summary Report can help you to stay on top of unpaid invoices so that you can get paid from your customers in a timely manner. Here are a few things that you should implement as soon as possible. First, be sure you create an invoice for all credit sales as they occur. Make sure that you set up payment terms for all customers. Establish a follow-up plan for invoices that become past due. For example, what action will you take when they are in each of the buckets, 1 to 30 days, 31 to 60 days, etc.? Review the AR Aging Report on a weekly basis if possible. For more tips, check out our article on setting the best invoice terms for your customers and getting paid faster. Click here to access these articles. That wraps up the lesson on how to run an Accounts Receivable Aging Report in QuickBooks Online. To access our full QuickBooks Online course or any of the other lessons in this series, click this link. You can also find a link below this video for a free 30-day trial of QuickBooks Online. If you have feedback about this course or if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe.